these are all some of the things that we see in real life. Do you see that there is a length, breadth and height for most of these objects and what is common is that all occupy space. What do you mean by it occupies space? It means the shape has space inside but we cannot place things inside a square. But can we place things inside this box? Yes. So, we can say that a square is a two dimensional object and a box is a three dimensional object. Other examples of two dimensional shapes are triangles, circles, etc. Whereas, three dimensional forms of the same shapes would be a prism, a sphere, etc. Don't worry, we will soon learn more about them. This has three dimensions. What are they? They have length, breadth and height. So, this is a solid object. Here, the sides are called lateral surfaces. Now, what is the shape of these lateral surfaces? Yes, you are right. It is a rectangle. What are the base and the top? Four lateral surfaces are rectangular shaped. A base and a top are also rectangular shaped. Such a solid is called a cuboid. So, how many faces does a cuboid have? Let's now count the number of vertices. And now the number of edges. Number of faces is equal to 6. Number of vertices is equal to 8. And number of edges is equal to 12.